Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn on how to create a Square Online Store. So the very first thing that you should do is you have to open any of your web browser. And then using the search bar at the top, you just have to search for Square Online. Okay, and then you'd be able to see this website. So you just have to click on this one. And right here, before we sign up or sign in to our account, let's talk about the pricing first. So when you go to the pricing section, as you can see right here, you have a free plan, the plus and then the premiums. So if you are just starting on using the Square Online, so you can start for free. So just simply click on the um, start for free option and here you just have to provide your account details so you have to type out your email address your password your locale and then you have to check this box that you have agreed to the terms and conditions after that click on the create account option so since i already have my square online account i'm just going to sign in okay so just click on continue after that and click on sign in Okay, and then just wait for a couple of seconds and you'd be directed to your homepage or your dashboard. So right here, as you can see, you'll be able to see here the different details, okay? So here, when you click on this option at the left side of your screen, so we have different options right here that we can explore. So basically, when you click on the home option, you'd be directed to this section. Okay, so now let's click on the home page. Now right here we have the home, the customer directory, items, reports, appointments, transactions, the online option, the customer management, the staff and payroll, banking, payments, and settings. Now when you click on the name of your store right here at the right side, I mean at the top right of your screen, you'll be able to see these options. In case you have your account settings, the better have, the what's new, the um, other details as well. So when you click on the online option, as you can see, you'd be able to see this website. So we have the restaurants, retail, and more. So if you want to create a new site, so you just simply click on the start a new site. So when you go to the restaurant, the retail, and more, so it's up to you if what kind of store are you planning to create. So I'm just going to click on the start new site and then you have to provide the details. So how will customers get their orders? So shipping, pickup, or in-house delivery. And after that, click on the continue or click on the skip for now. Now you just have to tell them about your business. And then after that, you'll be able to see here now the format of your store at the right side of our screen. Then after that, of course, we are going to customize or edit our store here on Square Online. Okay, so we have here different steps that we have to follow. So just click on the edit side option and right here, this is the different view. So we have the desktop and then the mobile view. So let's proceed to the um, desktop view. So right here, you can start customizing the header. So when you click on the header, you'll be able to see these options at the left side of your screen. So you can now change and then customize your header. Okay, so if you want to change the color, you want to change the font style in your header, or even if you want to add an image to your header, you can do that as well. Okay, here for the color style, we can also... Um, add a new color style if you want to just click on the edit color style okay and then click on the plus icon and then you just have to select your color preference okay so after that click on done if you are done customizing your header and then right here as you can see we have the slide show banner so we have to upgrade our plan in order for us to access or use that feature Okay, so next one is the background media. So if you want to change the background media, you can upload it from your computer or your own design. And you can also use the media from this um, um, tool, but of course you have to subscribe to a plan. So let's try to replace the background media. So we have my images, my logos, the premium photos, and then Instagram. So for Instagram, you have to connect your Instagram account to Square Online. 
and then if you'd like to use the premium photos you can also subscribe to a plan okay and then after that as you can see right here let's proceed to the next option so here on the featured items you can select the items that you want to display so for this one i'm going to select the custom selection and then of course you have to upload your items in order for you to show them in this section okay and then if you would like to show the price of your items the images the titles the badges so it's up to you just have to toggle the switch on or off okay and then after this one as you can see right here this is how it looks like so what i love about the square online is that while you are editing or customizing your store design you can see them okay whatever changes you make you can see them in real time so let's go now to the footer so here on the footer if you would like to customize this one you want to add more details on your footer so you just have to customize this one as well now if you want to add a new section so you just have to click on the add a section option and then you just have to add here the details if what kind of information that you want to show on the new section that you have added okay so this is how it looks like so when someone visit this link or the store they would be able to see this design okay so just wait for a couple of seconds and then right here you can now uh you know finish the different steps in order for you to make your store presentable so here you have to customize your site add a catalog item you can also add a shipping domain name publish site so let's start with the shipping so when you go to the shipping option right here you have to go to the shipment and account settings in order for you to set up your shipping so you just have to follow the steps and then the instructions in order for you to enable the shipping option okay so as you can see right here at the left side we have different information and different options that we can follow now for your store information you can also customize this one if you want to the company name the address email and then even the phone number and when you go to the checkout option as you can see right here in order for you to collect payment you have to verify your identity first in order for you to connect here your payment method or how you want to receive the payment from your customers okay so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below